You know? Oh my god. Yeah, god, I'm mean. old. <laughs> uh, hi there, everybody. Welcome to One Hundred Seven Reacts, where we react to trailers every Monday and Wednesday. Uh, my name is Jeff, and I'm joined by Yule, Anakin, oh, you know? and Dominic. Hello. And uh, today we're talking about... Um, God, well, no, it, it's, shit, it's not called Godzilla. What is it called? Monarch, Monarch Legacy, Legacy of, Monsters. of Monsters. Now, we just released a video about uh, uh, Godzilla Minus One. And uh, we were talking about this Godzilla verse. The, this is the American side of, of um, the Godzilla verse. So if you want to see the Japanese side of it, where we where we talk about that, uh, go go to our other video, check that out. Uh, in the meantime, like, subscribe, all that crap. Uh, we're going to talk about our pre thoughts here, get into the trailer, and then give our scores, compile them together into studio scores. So stay tuned to the end of this video because you're not going to want to miss what we're going to talk about here. Um, so who who wants to who wants to start us off here? I'll go. Oh, okay, perfect. Go. I was sort of hooked on this series, I will say. I think for the first two movies, what was it? Skull Island, what came after that? That was like the third movie, but... It was, was, movie? Godzilla. was Godzilla and then King of the Monsters. I think Skull Island came out or, yeah. before Wait. King of the Monsters. Yeah, yeah I did. Godzilla, then, Skull Island, King of the Monsters, Godzilla, Godzilla vs. King Kong. Kong. Okay, so Godzilla vs. King Kong is where I think I fell off. I think I skimmed it or like I saw parts of it, but I didn't watch all of it. Okay, so you fell off after the last movie. Is that the last film? Yes. Yeah. The last oh, movie. Okay. We just well, said. I mean, I didn't. I didn't really watch it though. That's the thing. I just kind of like jumped through it. I don't know if that counts. Like I was after the count. third one, I was like, How do you okay, jump through a movie at a theater? I don't know. I remember. No, it wasn't in a theater. I was like with my brother. Oh. I think we were like. Pass out. It was like late or something. Yeah, I either passed out or like we were watching pieces of it late at night and we were just like yeah this is kind of weird f movie surfing you know how it goes so i i want to say i lost interest in it i don't know i just feel like the third one was kind of like the best one i think it being the most the you know skull line of being like really enjoyable even though i didn't care for brie larson in that one i don't know i, I feel like them continuing is really surprising i don't really know what else they can do because i thought that like the story had concluded with the fourth one but again i didn't see it so i don't know so I'm hoping that they can like really reel me back in, maybe get me to see the fourth one before I go see this one. But it's it's doubtful. I'm not like super hyped, but I'm not like turned. I'm not I'm not turned against it yet. I think that's the thing. It's like I'm I, I'm still willing to give it a chance if it looks decent enough. So I'll go next. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna be lore heavy because I already talked a lot about Godzilla in the last video. You can check that out. So I'm just gonna say in terms of the American side, I've pretty much enjoyed everything up until Godzilla vs. Kong. I really felt like that movie was a huge letdown because they were setting up so much of, in King of the Monsters. I'm kind of curious to see where this goes uh, because they killed all of the Titans. Yeah, that's what they call them, they don't call them Kaiju. In, in King of the Monsters, well at the end of it, they're all teamed up and then in, in the beginning of Godzilla vs. Kong, it's like, yeah, all of them are dead, except for Godzilla and Kong. Uh, so it makes me wonder what is going to happen in this series. Wait. Yeah, so that's it. I'm just curious what, what the hell they're going to do with this. Are they going to roll back on all the monsters are dead, or I have no clue. Uh, I, I can I can actually answer your question. Oh, yeah? Because I actually know a little bit about this, so I'm actually pretty excited myself. Um, this is actually a prequel. Oh, okay, well that explains. Yeah, this is a prequel. It's not a prequel to Godzilla. Well, technically a prequel to Godzilla, because I think the first Godzilla takes place in current time. Yeah, this TV show is going to be... It's going to go back and forth in time like that, too. And the reason I'm excited is because Kurt Russell and his son, Wyatt Russell, are playing in this. And they're going to be playing the same character, oh. but... Russell's going to play the younger version of his dad, which is really cool. But other than that, I don't know what else the show is going to be about besides, obviously, Godzilla. So I'm pretty excited to check out this trailer. Uh, Dominic, close this out. I don't know Kurt Russell and his son were in it. That's pretty cool. Uh, I was enjoying the, the legacy Godzilla films. Uh, I let down with Godzilla vs. Kong because it took like an hour of the film for them to finally like 
fight each other for the first time. As I talked about in our Godzilla minus one, like I just want the kaiju. I don't care about human struggle and whatnot. And then now after watching Shin Godzilla, I'm like more hyped about Toho and Japan Godzilla content versus like America and legacy content. But, you know, I'll, I'm willing to give it a chance. It's the typical argument of like, will we watch this? Probably not because we don't have Apple TV. And, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for big monsters. So let's hit it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit play now. Okay, we're good. Apple TV. Oh, oh man. So. Look in his age. I can't go True. back in time and fix all the mistakes I made. But maybe I can leave something for the future. Oh, it's that guy. That's a chick. A legacy. No, oh. him. Oh, oh, from oh Ohio. Kong. shit. The world is on fire. I okay, so that's post Godzilla. Dreams, ambitions. The mission was to protect their world and ours. Oh, is that the chick from um, one of the? Mark to be. No. Instead of chasing. No. Okay. If you come with me, you'll know everything. I promise. Ooh, Ooh I think I know what that crab is. Oh, that's supposed oh. to be in Godzilla. Hell yeah. Woo! That was it. <laughs> right, that's en that's enough for me, honestly. I don't need any more than that. Um, oh, shit. Well, let me get... Hang well, okay. So, I'm just going to pop off really quick first. Go for it. It looks like it's going to be taking place during and after the events of the first Godzilla film, the revelation that these things exist, uh, and the, uh, you know, the exposure of Monarch that was set up during the Kong Skull Island. There was talk about an I like an island or something. It looked like they were leading him to an island, which, in a lot of the Godzilla films in the early. Ones there was actually an island where they kept all the monsters and stuff like that. I forget what it was called. Probably something dumb like Monster Island. And that crab thing was actually one of the monsters that, like one of the first monsters on that island. So I think it might have to do with that, like a, maybe a research station where they can try to they're gonna try to harness Godzilla or keep Godzilla there or something like that. I don't know. Looks interesting. Uh, maybe I'll rent. Apple TV for however long this is, or maybe I'll check it out on F Movies. But uh, you guys are down. I'd I'd be down to stream it. Oh yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, you have Apple? yeah, I have uh, Apple equivalent. Don't okay. we all? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, I will give it like a. I mean, it, it piqued my interest. I didn't see anything I hated, so I'd probably give it like a seven point five. I think, I think that's good. And uh, whoever wants to go next will go next. While I look up what this crab kaiju is called. Crab kaiju. <laughs> Get out. Uh, uh, I didn't I'll deserve a laugh. I'm really upset I laughed. <laughs> I'm a little skeptical with the whole going back and forth in time concept. Just because... If it's like Jeff said, where it's before um, Godzilla 2014, after Godzilla 2014, and then also after the other sequels, like, you know, uh, Skull Island or King of the Monsters, that's like a lot of time periods to cover in terms of the Godzilla timeline that, you know, is established already. I feel like they're kind of stretching their self, themselves thin. You know, who knows? Maybe they, they are trying to make this, like, a huge fucking, like, seven-season thing. I highly doubt it just because of all the the writer strikes going on right now and um, just the state of Hollywood uh, TV shows. Like, it's very... I mean, I don't think there's any, like, current shows out right now that are that long, right, anymore, besides Walking Dead, but that doesn't count. 
Most shows these days, they're like fucking. They get axed after like season one. Sometimes they get season two, but well, like know, it's pretty rare. You know, it still looks still looks really promising. I can't really complain about fucking kaiju's. You know, they're just so fucking cool, and we definitely got a lot of cool shots. Uh, not even just Godzilla, but you know, like Jeff brought up the the crab kaiju, whatever his name is, okay. and I think we got some more muto muto action. I'll have to go back and see, but yeah, just just excited to see more Godzilla stuff. So I will give this a nine, a nine out of ten. Okay, what? Oh, wow. okay. I had concerns, but that wasn't necessarily about the sh- the show specifically. Oh, you're saying more about, ex- about around the show, surrounding okay, okay, the okay. show. All right, the uh, the crab is named Ebira. E- 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 oh, oh, fuck, Ebira, Ebira, E B I R A H. E B I R A H. Ebira, like a crab. Ebi, Ebi. Yeah, Ebira. What? In Japan, that's like the noises crab makes. Uh, Dominic, go go next. I think the concept of like weaving together Skull Island and Kong is cool, but it doesn't meet my kaiju quota. I wanted more kaijus, and they're talking too much about the humans, and I don't care about the humans. I just want kaiju fighting. There wasn't enough. There was maybe like five seconds of kaijus in that like minute 23 trailer. But, you know, I'd, I'd be willing to give it a chance. I don't know why the, the female lead looks familiar. I can't place her, but like I like Kurt Russell. I think his son does well, despite not really seeing him in that much, except like MCU stuff. I don't know how happy I'll be if they're just like splicing in like like that frame of, of Godzilla roaring. It's supposed to be like him near the Golden Gate Bridge from his first film. Like, I don't know how happy I'll be if they're just like recreating that type of stuff. But the like deep dive of Monarch and the Hollow Earth, I think, can lead to cool things. But I, I would probably give this trailer like a... S- Six and a half. Okay, you all do the thing. Yeah, so I wanted to go last because I wanted to hear more of like the lore heavy side of things. Because like honestly this felt like a movie where if you didn't come with some kind of like understanding of the series, uh, from the movies, then like you probably wouldn't appreciate this trailer enough. And that that's how I felt. Like I just felt like an outsider looking in, like, oh, okay, there's Godzilla and Kurt Russell's in this. Cool. So, like, for me, this is diving into the parts of the movies that I just didn't give a shit about, which is really to Dominic's point, which is, like, the human stuff. It's like, all right, that's cool, but Godzilla's in the title. I just want to see Godzilla fuck some shit up. I think that's why I liked Kong so much, was because, like, oh, this is Kong, and, like, he's just going ape shit. And so, like, now, having a movie that's, like, dedicated to the side that is more, I guess, more lore-intensive and more going into, like, the, the why and the how of the monsters isn't just something I'm really interested in. Like, I think that's what started turning me off towards the, the later films. The later films, but just the parts of the films that I just didn't like. And so, for it to be dedicated to that is already a turnoff. And now it's a television show. And I think you guys know me well enough to know I don't do TV shows. I just have commitment issues to where, like, I don't want to have to sit down and watch episodic stuff to get a story. Just condense it down to a movie and let's be on our way. And so like from the trailer and from the topics and then also the fact that it's a TV show, not even the fact that it's on Apple TV, like it's just, I really hate to give it like a four two five because like, I'm just not, I'm not geeked like in any kind of way. I'm not upset, but I'm just kind of like, okay, you guys are really getting lore deep. I'm, I'll wait for the next, you know, YouTube video analysis, I guess, when it's like two years after the fact, and it's like, oh yeah, whatever happened with that series? Other than that, like, this is just kind of a miss for me. So, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll leave it at that. Like a four, four two five is like, is where I'm sitting. Like, there you go. Wow, this is really interesting because we are, we're usually pretty close together in our, our numbers givings, mm-hmm. and even if we're not, we at least have like a a range as, as to where it is but here mm-hmm. it's like we're across the board yeah this is yeah i think this is the most very... spread out that we have been yeah we're like poop on a windshield you know and why then you on the white what dirt. why well, <laughs> the, the why is that the analogy you make okay 
It makes sense if you think about it, you know? No! It's just... No. Hey, uh, you know, what's her number? You ever shit on a windshield and then turn on the wipers? <laughs> no! Oh my god, speaking of... Speaking of 405, this is a 6.82. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Do you, you want to hire, or...? Yeah. It's close to a 6.9. Do you want to shit? Or shit on your windshield, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I oh, wanted less shit on the windshield, damn. There you go, Jeff. Or no yes. shit. No shit. It was, it was one of those hobo smears. All right. Well, you heard it here. Six point. What, what was it? Six point what? Six point eight two. Six point eight two here at, at 127 Studios. So, uh, um. Comment like down screen. below if uh, I look like Tom Cruise because of my hair. Like you'll he say. Does. He does. Yeah, sure. Well, comment that. Comment what you think about uh, Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Tell us what you think about Godzilla. Tell us what you think about uh, Ebira, the crab comment guy. Comment who would win. IMF versus Godzilla. That's a pretty impossible mission. <laughs> 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 <laughs>